Well, you've got to have one right now. No wonder you're always so miserable. Here, try this. Let's check out 10 newly released fast food items you need to try. Forget the plain old burger, fries, and shake. Fast food chains are working hard to bring us new options. Innovation is this team's secret sauce. Isn't our secret sauce kind of like Thousand Island? Oh, pizza Hut, Detroit-style pizza. No, not Pizza the Hut. You can talk. You may think that pizza is at the pinnacle of its existence. After all, it is one of the most consumed food items in the world. We all love a good pizza, whether it's from one of the many fast food pizza chains or from a neighborhood pizzeria. Whatever your choice, it's fair to say that pizza is pretty much perfect. Well, there may be some exciting news in the pizza world, since there has been a style of pizza that has been really catching on in recent years, and that's the Detroit-style pizza. This style of pizza is a rectangle-shaped pizza with a thick crust that is crispy and chewy, filled with cheese and tomato, and then topped off with the toppings of your choice. Oh, Pizza Hut. Hold on. It may not sound like such a big game changer, but this style of pizza is pretty incredible and has started to pop up everywhere, from your local pizza delivery place to some big chains. And now it's coming to Pizza Hut. Many families' favorite go-to pizza restaurant is jumping on the Detroit-style pizza bandwagon, and its version is a good one. Can't believe we got here too late for pizza. Worst pizza day ever. McDonald's Caramel Brownie McFlurry. I have a five-piece chicken, um, but instead of the Coke, I want a McFlurry. While we all like to treat ourselves to a juicy burger or an oversized pizza, sometimes we just want something sweet, and a great source to feed that sweet tooth is with the McDonald's McFlurry. Over the years, McDonald's has given us many choices when it comes to their McFlurry options, as well as the usual candy toppings such as M&M's, Snickers, Twix, and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. McDonald's has also brought us seasonal toppings such as Oreos and Chips Ahoy. And now the fast food giant has given us a brand new flavor choice to get get excited about, a very mouth-watering caramel brownie. This new flavor combines their trademark vanilla soft serve ice cream with thick chunks of brownie pieces covered in caramel topping. This choice of McFlurry was actually tested in Canada back in 2017, but has now gone nationwide in the U.S. as of May 2021. McDonald's decided to go all out when releasing this new ice cream product as it offered customers a chance to get one for free. Hurry! Hurry! Come with me! Using the the McDonald's app, customers were invited to scan a code to receive their free Caramel Brownie McFlurry. If you were one of the lucky ones to get their hands on one, then good for you. The rest of us will quite happily go to our local McDonald's and pay for one. Yeah, we're here. KFC Chicken Sandwich. From the creators of The Double Down. In recent years, there has been a bit of a chicken sandwich war going on amongst the fast food chains. While the likes of Popeyes and Chick-fil-A are pushing the boundaries on what is possible when it comes to the humble chicken, the king of chicken in the fast food world, KFC, has decided to up its game in order to keep up. While KFC has been satisfying our chicken needs for decades, it has now decided to bring us a truly potentially game-changing chicken sandwich. Replacing the classic crispy kernel sandwich, KFC is giving us the simply named KFC Chicken Sandwich. This new sandwich features a heftier double-breaded chicken filet, which is a quarter pound of chicken, around 25% larger than the previous chicken sandwich. This finger looking good. The new bigger chicken filet is served on a buttered brioche bun with thicker crinkle cut pickles and a choice of either mayo or spicy sauce. This new sandwich was tested last year in a few select restaurants and with great results, it has now gone nationwide. KFC's chicken sandwich could really become a real crowd pleaser and could even be the new benchmark for how a great chicken sandwich should be. I don't care what anybody says. I'm making that chicken! We hope that the other fast food chicken joints are taking note and are ready to compete with this sandwich. The future looks very bright for chicken lovers. Popeye's Cajun Flounder Sandwich. You know what keeps going through my head? Where's my sandwich? As we go through our list of new fast food items you need to try, you will see that a lot of fast food chains are focusing on revamping their chicken and chicken sandwich options. And it all started with one main culprit, Popeyes. When Popeyes released its chicken sandwich back in 2019, it caused such a storm and media circus that people almost rioted in the streets to get their hands on one. Popeyes chicken is the shiznit! 
Now, Popeyes is looking for a similar reaction with its latest sandwich release. Instead of giving us another chicken product, Popeyes has opted to start a fish war. Its new Cajun flounder sandwich consists of a Pacific water fried flounder patty, which is breaded and seasoned and served on a brioche bun. The sandwich is then topped off with barrel-aged pickles and tartar sauce. Popeyes is hoping that this new fish sandwich will be a perfect option for those who don't want to eat chicken or red meat. Whether that's for health reasons or dietary restrictions, Popeyes could finally be giving us the perfect fish sandwich. I'm just living the dream. <laughs> And we think that people will be lining up around the block to get their hands on this sandwich for no other reason than to just taste it. Taco Bell Quesalupa. The new Quesalupa from Taco Bell. Get it with chicken, get it with steak. The Quesalupa is headed back to a Taco Bell near you, and we couldn't be more excited. The famous Tex-Mex chain gave us this delightful item and then took it away from us before we knew what was happening. And now that it's back, bigger and better than ever, we hope it's here to stay. For a limited time! The revamped quesalupa comes with 50% more cheese, which makes for more gooey goodness. The combination of quesadilla and chalupa comes with the chain's famous crispy shell stuffed to the brim with a mix of melted pepper jack and mozzarella cheese. On top of that, the quesalupa comes with Taco Bell's trademark seasoned beef, crispy lettuce, shredded cheddar cheese, fresh diced tomatoes, and cool sour cream. Even though this new version of the quesalupa comes with a lot more cheese and filling, the price is isn't going to increase, which will keep Taco Bell fans happy. Dude, that's gonna be bigger than the internet. It must also be noted that Taco Bell is planning to enter the chicken sandwich wars at some point this year when it releases its very first chicken sandwich. So whether you are in the mood for a Taco Bell classic or want to try something completely different from the Tex-Mex giants, this year could be a very good year to head down to your local Taco Bell. Burger King new chicken sandwich. All this chicken and king talk swelling around out there. It's got me really fired up. This giant of the burger world has been delighting us with many great and innovative fast food items over the years, and this year is proving to be no different. Burger King is actually bringing us a few new selections this year, like some different burger options as well as revamping their breakfast menu. However, for this entry, we wanted to focus on their new chicken sandwich. An upgrade on their popular crispy chicken sandwich, Burger King is bringing us this new sandwich to sample. The difference here is that this sandwich will include a hand-breaded chicken filet. This may not seem like that much of a difference, but we think, and so does Burger King, that having a hand-breaded chicken filet is going to change the taste of the sandwich drastically. So spicy and crispy and juicy. Just like the flame-grilled burger patties changed the burger world, this sandwich could just change the chicken world forever. No pressure though, BK. This chicken sandwich hasn't been released yet, but will be on its way soon, and we are told it will be worth the wait, so keep your eyes open. Burger King is nowhere near the 7-Eleven, by the way. Never said it was. McDonald's McPlant. That patty is 100% plant-based protein. No, no way. way. Over the years, a lot has changed in the fast food landscape, especially as major fast food chains have been adding healthier options to their otherwise calorie-packed menus. There's been a big shift to things like gluten-free and dairy-free products. However, the main change on many fast food menus has been meat-free meat. Vegetarian and vegan options have existed in some form in the past, but it's usually been a sad, solitary salad that isn't very exciting. But all of that has changed since the introduction production of products like Beyond Meat. The Beyond Meat burger has been a huge success and has even been able to get meat lovers to jump on the plant-based burger bandwagon. What do you mean, you people? Although many fast food chains have had Beyond Meat products on their menus for some time, McDonald's has been uncharacteristically slow. Usually, the Golden Arches are at the forefront of fast food trends, but not with plant-based burgers. Fear not, because all that is about to change as this year McDonald's is launching their McPlant Burger. That's impossible! Teaming up with Beyond Meat, McDonald's is hoping that this burger will be just the start of a plant-based line which will include chicken sandwiches 
sandwiches and even their breakfast sandwiches. Wendy's new breakfast. Who are those guys? Wendy's breakfast, Morty. Wait, it's a Wendy's what? When it comes to having a tasty breakfast on a busy morning, many of us have our favorite go-to places to grab a breakfast sandwich and hash brown. While there are many challenges to face to claim the fast food breakfast crown, over the last year, one of the best contestants has been Wendy's. Coincidentally, it was right as the world went into a pandemic that Wendy's pulled out all the stops with their new breakfast line, and it just so happened to claw back the dip in profits that the first lockdown brought. You know I can't break the bubble, Kenny. Oh, you're serious? You're not gonna let me in? Wendy's focused on providing the best breakfast possible to get us through this tough time. Wendy's uses fresh eggs in everything, and they even have a morning version of their popular Baconator burger, the Breakfast Baconator. All of this this proved hugely successful for Wendy's, and it began rising to the top of the breakfast food chain. Even so, you may be pleased to know that Wendy's wasn't content on leaving it there and is adding to its breakfast menu this year. The chain is planning to add a bit of spice to our mornings as it's bringing us breakfast versions of its spicy chicken sandwich and nuggets. Wendy's Baconator. Extra bacon. The breakfast version of the famous Baconator worked so well that we can't wait for some more breakfast fusions. Carl's Jr. Spicy Burger. Carl's Jr. believes no child should go hungry. You are an unfit mother. Starting back in the 1940s as a hot dog stand, Carl's Jr. was actually one of the first fast food chains, and they set a lot of the industry standards we know and love today. However, while the likes of McDonald's, Burger King, and KFC took over the world, Carl's Jr. climbed a little slower in comparison. Needless to say that Carl's Jr. may not be one of the big boys, but it still has its fan base, and if you're one of those fans, Carl's Jr. has a spicy treat for you. Join us. While the chain might be a bit late to the spicy game, it has finally arrived nonetheless. The restaurant chain recently debuted its fiery menu, which consists of a burger with pepper jack cheese, jalapenos, sliced onions, tomatoes, lettuce, and a new fiery sauce, habanero ranch. Then there are the chicken tenders. The tenders themselves are nothing new, but the breaded tenders become fiery when you dip them in habanero ranch sauce. <laughs> Ah! Food innovation in its finest form and something to get really excited about. Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Chicken Last week he comes here and tells me that he's discovered my plot to blow up the Chick-fil-A. In recent years, there's only been one fast food item that's caused so much friction between the giants of the fast food world, and that's the chicken sandwich. Ever since Popeyes released their now famous chicken sandwich back in 2019, most fast food chains have been releasing a new chicken sandwich in order to keep up. With that in mind, the grandmaster of the chicken sandwich, Chick-fil-A, has now released its newest chicken sandwich to the world. The grilled spicy chicken sandwich looks set to reinvent the chicken sandwich and change the game once again. The main difference between this sandwich and others on the market is the fact that this chicken is not breaded or fried. It is, in fact, a grilled chicken breast marinated in Chick-fil-A's famous spices and served on a toasted multi-grain brioche bun with lettuce and tomato. This is without a doubt one of, if not the, healthiest chicken sandwich options on the fast food market right now, and could also be one of the tastiest, too. I'm a 28-year-old man. I should be able to eat a chicken sandwich if I want. If this sandwich sounds familiar, well, that's because Chick-fil-A has been testing it in certain locations with very positive results, and it is now ready to roll out nationwide. This could easily become one of the most popular fast food items of the year. After this, can we get Chick-fil-A because I am so hungry? Focus! And yes! First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell. Oh, and for another great video, just tap or click.